So today, I'm going to show you how to determine if a point is on a line using the equation in algebra. All right, so here's an example I have here. Is the point 3, negative 5 on the line y equals negative 3x plus 4? Now, the easiest way to determine this is if you just make the graph of the line and then check to see if the coordinates are on that line. All right, so y equals negative 3x plus 4 is shown over here. Here's my y of 4, my slope of negative 3. And this point 3, negative 5 is x is 3, y is negative 5. That's right here. And notice, yeah, it is on that line, OK? Similarly, is the point negative 1, 6 on this line? Well, here's negative 1. Here's 6. Uh, no, that one's not on the line. All right, so it's pretty easy to answer with the graph. However, it doesn't always make sense to make the graph. Sometimes these coordinates might be way far out. Sometimes these might have complicated numbers and fractions and decimals, and it makes more sense to use algebra to do it. So I'm going to show you how to find that exact same answer of yes it is and no it's not, just purely using algebra. All right, so we'll start with this first one. This point 3, negative 5. Remember, this is my x coordinate and this is the, my y coordinate of that point. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 3 in for x into my equation. I'm going to put negative 5 in for y into my equation and see if it works. In other words, see if this side, the left side of the equal sign, actually does equal the y side of the equal sign. So let's do that. All right, so negative 5 is y, so I'm going to replace y with negative 5 equals, instead of negative 3 times x, I'm going to do negative 3 times 3 plus 4. All right, so again, all I did was substitute 3 in for x, negative 5 in for y. And if this side really does equal that side, then we know that that coordinate works for the equation and that coordinate will be on the line. All right, so most of this I can do on my calculator. So negative 3 times 3 oops, plus 4, I get negative 5. And look what we have negative 5 equals negative 5. So since this equation actually works when I plug in these points, yes, it is on the line. All right, let's do it again, but with this point. And remember, we already know that this one isn't on the line, but I want to show you what it looks like. All right, so again, negative 1 is my x-coordinate, and 6 is my y-coordinate, because when we have the coordinates of a point, that first one is x, the second one's y. All right, so let's plug them in y equals, so in this case, y is 6, 6 equals negative 3 times x, negative 3 times, in this case, negative 1, plus 4. All right, so if this side really does equal this side, then we know that coordinate is actually on the line. So let's put in our calculator and find out. We've got negative 3 times negative 1 plus 4. What do we get? 7. Now look what we have here. 6 equals 7. This is not true. 6 does not equal 7. So the coordinate, putting the coordinate into my equation didn't work. So that's how we know, no, this one is not on the line. Okay? So there, I showed you how to do it with a graph, showed you how to do it with algebra. Okay? Here, let's do a couple more, this time purely with algebra. All right, so again, is this point 9, 7 on the line y equals 1 third x plus 5? All right, again, this is my x and this is my y. All I'm going to do is put them into the equation and find out. So y equals 7 equals 1 third times x, 1 third times 9 plus 5. All right, if 7 really does equal all this stuff, then we know the point is on the line. Let's find out. 1 third times 9 plus 5 equals 8. Now, 7 doesn't equal 8. So what that tells me is, no, this is not on that line. All right? So in a lot of ways, it's a lot faster to use algebra than to make the whole graph. All right, last one. This one's a little complicated. We've got some negatives in our coordinate, negative 4, negative 17. We also have a fraction in our equation. All right, y equals 5 halves x minus 7. Let's put it in and find out. 
y is negative 7, so, or y is negative 17, so negative 17 equals 5 halves times x, in this case x is negative 4, minus 7. All right, I guess we'll find out. So if negative 17 really does equal all this stuff, we know that coordinate is on the line. So let's put it in a calculator and find out. 5 halves times negative 4 minus 7. I get negative 17. And look, that's exactly what we wanted it to be. So that tells us that coordinate, yes, it is on the line. OK? So it's pretty easy to determine if a point really is on a line. Take the x and y coordinates, put them into your equation, and see if it works. If it works, then it's on the line. If it doesn't work, it's not on the line. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck in math, and I will see you next time.